Hello, this is Eric. This is third in my series of presentations on the audit schedule. And today we're going to take a look at producing a thousand audits very, very quickly. Now, if you remember, we're talking about an audit is a study uh, done on an outside vendor by a company called Michigan Electric Company. Initials MEC. And that's audit um, number 203 of a vendor called Industrial Analytical Services. And now we've just got one audit uh, in the schedule at the moment, stretching from here, scrolling down, and finishing up there. Uh, down below here is what they call a CGS, um, CG survey. It was a it was similar similar type of study or audit and there was about a thousand of those but again we just want to we, we just want to uh, cover the audits today uh, this thing is um, very easy to do by copying and pasting the WBS now what complicates matters is the intelligence that was built into the activity IDs if you remember MAP M stood for the company uh, that's doing the that's uh, doing the work. In this case, Michigan Electric Company. M, A P for audit preparation. Then two o three for the uh, audit audit number. And then dash eleven for the activity for the activity incremental number. Coming down here, M P A dash two o three. MAF-203, MAC-203. So keeping those things straight is what becomes just a little bit tricky. Now, uh, to copy and paste uh, uh, the WBSs, first we have to take this um, uh, milestone that I brought up from the uh, 203 audit schedule into its own separate WBS area up above. If I do a copy paste as this thing is now, this dash 15 milestone will be left out. So we're going to drag it on down where it belongs. And there we are. The um, uh, user defined uh, 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 bar here. It's, remember this was the prime time period. This is the acceptable time period. We're just going to leave those for right now because um, uh, as we flesh out the schedule these dates will have to be adjusted manually and those bars will be adjusted manually. So now that we've uh, gotten the WBS ready let's go to the WBS page and here we are. Whoops. There we are. That is the uh, Audit 203. Better view is right there, and we're gonna we're gonna actually use this thing. Y you could you could say we're using it as a template, and it's merely copy, paste. Now you've you've probably seen similar uh, operations uh, uh, done quite a bit, but again to uh, make things interesting here these uh, activity IDs with intelligence built in uh, it, it makes things a little bit trickier so to accommodate those we're going to do the first character here replace with a temporary placeholder a so we don't duplicate activities when we when we uh, paste these okay so very quickly, you can see we've got uh, this uh, this uh, second audit put in to build to put in a third one. Paste again, and this time we're going to replace with a B. Don't want any duplicate activities, and we could we could do this um, we could do this five hundred times, thousand times, and uh, uh, be done by coffee break. So let's just concentrate on fixing the uh, uh, the WBS 
in the uh, in the uh, activity IDs. We'll do this for the first one that I copied, this one right here. Now you remember the 203. That's the, that's the audit we use as a template. So what we're going to do here is replace the 203. And let's call this audit number 400. Now 407. Replace. Replace. Okay, now uh, it jumped down to the original, which we don't want to touch. So that's, that's good right there move this up here. Now we want to uh, correct the WBS so the 1 will become a 407. So the WBS is all fixed. WBS is looking good. Okay, now let's do the activities. Scrolling up. Now Remember that this uh, this last one we did up here. That's still that's still a, another copy of that 203 audit that we're really not going to uh, bother with anymore. Um, remember, uh, remember we put the the B for the temporary placeholder on the activity ID. The B is right here. So let's just collapse this one. Now we're into 407. And right away, I can see I forgot to change the name of the company that's being audited. So let's, let's take care of that. And name of the company, let's say Honeywell Controls. Okay. Mm -hmm. Looking better. Honeywell can, if I could spell, look even greater. O L S. Much better. Honeywell controls, audit 407. Now we come up with the A for the placeholder. We want to convert that back into the M for Michigan Electric that's doing the work. Now, if we just uh, see, we uh, work on that and A replace with M. Now, this is only going to work for the first one. I'll, sh I'll show you why in a second, but I, I just want to show you this this error that can pop up. Uh, Show it here so you don't catch, so you don't run into it later on your own. Okay, we got we got that MD audit. Uh, fine, coming down. What's going to happen? We're going to look at we're going to find two A's and end up with two M's. Oh, <laughs> that's a gotcha. We need to replace this 203 first. Control R, 203, and uh, this was audit number 407, 407, replace. And let's uh, sort on another column here so these quit jumping around. And uh, please do not make the mistake of, put, of replacing all. That command just... Uh, it replaces all. It re it'll replace everything in your schedule. And there's really no way to stop it. So we just uh, we'll just uh, make a few mouse clicks. It's a little bit boring, but it's not nearly as troublesome as going back and trying to fix everything that's been screwed up by that replace all. Last one. Okay, now. This AAP, now let's just go ahead and do it right the first time. Find A, A. And replace with M, A. 
Now, it's going to get to the uh, perform audit, and it, it's, it's not going to be any good. But it'll skip on down, and we'll have to come back and, and fix this area. So we have a MAP-407-11. Look, looks good. You see where it skipped on down to the audit finalization. Pull this over here. And you just have to watch out that uh, this doesn't act, this cursor does not accidentally slide onto that replace all. Again, that, that replace all is a problem. Okay, almost done. AP, replace with MA. Done and looking pretty good here. Only, only thing left to do is take this one and drag it on up to the summary uh, WBS for the milestones. And there you go. We have just put in uh, the second audit with the correct activity IDs with all the intelligence built in and we have uh, renamed the uh, WBS structure. I Hope this uh, lesson helps, and uh, thanks for watching.